Hello dear doers, welcome to this video on gift cards and promotional programs. For our online shop, we want to start a new loyalty program to reward our loyal customers. This means that they'll receive points for each purchase, which they can later redeem for rewards. This will entice them to come back and improve our customer retention. Along with that, we'd like to launch gift cards and e-wallet programs so customers can offer gift cards to someone and check their e-wallet amounts on their own customer portal. Ready? Then let's dive in. Okay, so first let's go to the settings. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll make sure that the option discounts, loyalty and gift card is activated. It's the case. So we'll go to e-commerce and then we see that at the bottom we have these two loyalty related menus. We have discount and loyalty, and we have gift cards and wallet. First, let's take a look at discount and loyalty. So here we have uh, some of our loyalty programs, which are already available on our website. But for the purpose of this demo, we are going to create a new one. We can give any name we want. So we will call it loyalty card, and then we can link it to any program type. So we have several options, such as a discount code, a buy two, get one free, for example, coupons. In our case, it's going to be a loyalty card. Uh, we can set some validity dates. So, so in our case, we don't want this program to expire, so we will just leave the fields blank. We can limit uh, the usage so that the customer can only use this loyalty card for a certain amount of times that we can define here. But in our case, we will not limit it. And we can also uh, define on which app it's available and in which point of sale. We can set a specific price list. In our case, we only have one, so we leave it as the default price list. And here we can give the points a specific name. So by default, they are called loyalty points. But as our business is all about embroidery, let's be a bit more fun and call them stitches. There you go. So below we have the rules and rewards tab, which contains the conditional rules. So these are the conditions that need to be met. And here we have the rewards. So these are, these are which kind of rewards is given. We can, as always, create new ones by clicking add, or we can just adapt the existing ones by clicking on it. So here I can set the minimum quantity. Uh, so the minimum amount of items that need to be bought, we'll set one, and the minimum purchase amount, let's say 20. We can also uh, define how many points the customer will get, let's say 50, and so on. Let's save this, and for the reward over here, we can choose uh, on this field here if the customer gets a free product, a discount, or a free shipping. If it's a product, then we can set the quantity that the customer will uh, receive, and we can define the actual product to receive. If it's a discount, then we can set a percentage on the order, on the cheapest products, or on a specific product. Product, sorry. And we can set a maximum amount of discount. And the same applies for free shipping. And for all three types, we can choose how many loyalty points it'll cost the client to get the reward, and we can customize the text that will appear on the order when they get the reward. So let's save this one. And now we will check out our other men menu, the gift cards and e-wallets. So here we already have created a gift card program and an e-wallet one. But we'll check out first the gift cards. So this gift card needs to be re related to a product that is sold in our e-commerce. So we have simply created the product gift card and we've published it so it's available on our website. So you can choose over here in the print report how you want to print it out in case someone buys the gift card in a physical store. But for this option to appear, you will need to have the point of sale application installed. And just like the loyalty points, you can choose where it's available. Now, if I click generate, I can choose whether it's for anonymous customers, which means that anyone with um, a gift card code can redeem it, or if it's only for selected customers, in which case we'll have to define the customer it's for. We can choose how many uh, of these gift cards we want to generate, which actually means how many do you want to be available for sale. So I'll set 100. And of course, we need uh, to define the value of this gift card. I'll set it as $20. So I leave the valid until uh, field blank because I don't want these cards to expire. And we can write a little description, like, enjoy your gift card. There you go. 
So if I generate them, I already have 100 gift cards here on this smart button, but if I generate them, then we see that it updates, and I now have 200 available. If we click on it, we see that the list of all of our gift cards, uh, that this is a list, sorry, of all of our gift card cards, and we see the codes that they are linked to. Now, for example, if I take one, I will copy this because we will need it later on. I can, if I want, send them to a specific email address if I wanted to, and this is the email how it will look like, or I can just uh, share these codes uh, with someone by clicking on share. And here we have the link that we can just copy paste and then the person who receives the link will be able to use the gift card. Okay, now last thing, let's talk about e-wallets. So if I go back, we have a e-wallet program over here and we have selected as program type e-wallet. Now exactly as the gift card, the e-wallet needs to be linked to a product. Uh, then we can uh, link it to an email template and we can make it available wherever we want. It works exactly the same, the difference being that buying an e-wallet is actually topping it up with virtual money, while buying a gift card is giving that money to someone else. Okay, so now that we've seen all of this in the back end, let's see what all of this looks like on our website. So we'll go to the shop and we see that our two products, the gift card and the e-wallet, uh, are available right here. Now, if we had any product, let's say this one, we add it to the cart and we proceed to checkout, then we see that we have the right to free shipping, thanks to the loyalty points that we accumulated with our earlier purchases. And if we continue to check out, then we see that we can pay with the e-wallet. Now, on top of that, I can also add a discount, co discount code, which is the code linked to the gift card. If I apply it, there you go, the price has uh, gone down. And there you go, that's it for this video, and as always, be sure to check out our online documentation for more information on this topic. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.